Hey guys, so a lot of you have asked me how I make the banana pancakes and I kind of keep dropping little hints in videos and little bits of me making them, but I wanted to make a full video of me making them so you all know exactly what I do and you can make them yourselves. So along with this video, I have decided to set you the banana pancake challenge. So all you have to do for this challenge is make a banana pancake. Now you can add like whatever you want extras in, as long as you have like egg and banana, then you're fine. Uh, let me know what you put in it and show me a picture of it as well. So whoever makes the most creative, beautiful banana pancake will win a new OTD t-shirt. This is the new design, I'm not showing you the back yet, but it's amazing, I'm so excited. They're not even out yet, so yeah, whoever wins will have the first new design. So that is all you have to do. Anyway. Let's get into showing you how to make them and I'll show you the little added extras I put in and I cannot wait to see yours. Also, I'm not gonna be doing an impression of Mary Berry because I feel like she's too sassy for me to try and imitate. I'm gonna be doing OTD cooking show. So first up, you need a pan and I tend to keep them on the smaller side because if they're too big, it is impossible to flip. If you've already tried to make one of these, you'll know how hard they are to flip. So small pan first. And then I use some coconut oil as my lubricant. Is that the word? God, I really wouldn't be a good chef, would I? Don't be too stingy with the oil because like I say, they are hard to flip and make sure it's all covered, all coated, and then you won't have so much trouble. So I put the pan on medium heat and while all the oil melts and it heats up, I make my little concoction. So the ingredients to this are very simple. You can make a really easy one by just using three eggs and two bananas. Note, loads of recipes that tell you how to make these always just say use two eggs and one banana or three eggs and one banana. And personally, I don't think it tastes banana-y enough. banana -y, is that a word? Well, it is now. So I use two bananas and three eggs. And yeah, I like eating a lot, so it fills me up. And also it tastes really good. So yeah, maybe try it with two bananas or a really big banana, but don't just use one small one. So first up, you wanna take your two bananas and mash them up. The riper they are, the easier. These unfortunately aren't that ripe. But we're getting there. So mash it all up. And then add your three eggs. Here's some I prepared earlier. And then mix it all together. Wow, these eggs are a crazy color. Mix, mix, mix. And that is the mixture for the basic one. I'm gonna show you what I add. So I like to add this stuff. I think it's just, I don't even know what it is. Flaxseed. It's flaxseed. So I add this because I think it's kind of like a flower um, and it gives it some more body. And also it's really good for me. I do sometimes have it without if I run out and it still tastes really good, but this is what I add. So yeah, I just add a heap of it. Probably too much. I'm not actually sure how much I'm meant to add. Yeah, about that. Mix it all up again. And then this is the concoction I'm left with. So now we are ready to cook it. Okay, so take said pan and pour the mixture in. <laughs> okay, so you've gotta let it like crisp up a little bit on the bottom, otherwise when you try and flip it, it goes all gooey and complicated. Also, this is my faithful spatula. If I don't use this one, I can't do it. It's like flexi, and it's thin. For some reason this one works. Other spatulas can work, but this is my favorite one. And then I just go around the outsides just lifting it a little bit, checking if it's cooked. Oh, it's stuck a bit there. Okay, now's the tense bit, the flipping. Now, I can't say I get this right every time, by the way, because I don't, and it doesn't stop it tasting nice. So, I just slide it underneath, there's always a wiggle, and go. Okay, half of it's flipped. That sometimes happens. Damn. Okay, bear with. Bear with. Okay, and then 
This happens quite a lot, so I tend to just stick it back together and then it cooks again. These are probably the hardest pancakes to flip. And I knew the day I tried to make a video of it that I wouldn't be able to flip it. But you guys get the general idea. So if it breaks when I flip it, I have to flip it back the other way to get these bits that aren't cooked, but that's fine. If I do it all in one, then I just cook it once on both sides. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Yay! I actually flipped it. See? Then it fixes itself together again, so it's all good. So time-wise on cooking it, just go with your feel, squish it down. If it feels like it's uncooked, don't eat it. You want to feel like it's springy, and yeah, and that's it. So ideally, I like to have strawberries and 90% dark chocolate. Some days I go for honey, some days I just have chocolate, some days I have like a fruit compote, whatever, you can put anything on it. But today I'm going to put dark chocolate and strawberries. No, the grater stops you putting too much chocolate on. So here is the famous banana pancake in all its glory. So that is the famous banana pancake. So remember to post your pictures and what you've put in it in the comment box below and I will pick the winner in about a week. Happy eating guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs>